Hello, my dear student. How are you? This is Sonia Akhtar, lecturer, Department of English, Milestone College. I wish you all are fine in this pandemic situation for coronavirus. But in this situation, you have to continue your study. For this reason, I am here to take your class uh, regarding English first paper. Dear students, our today's topic is dialogue writing. Dialogue writing, this is very important points. This is very important question in your English first paper. You will get 10 marks for writing a dialogue. And if you are careful about writing dialogue, then you will get 10 marks. Uh, out of 10 marks, you will get 7 or 8 marks. So, you should follow some rules. You should know what is dialogue. And you should know the rules of writing dialogue. You should know um, the attitude that you have to express in writing a dialogue. Okay, this is not uh, a new topic. This is a familiar topic and you know this topic very well. But you have to know more rules to write a dialogue for getting good marks. Okay, dear student, let's start our class for dialogue writing. So, this is our topic, dialogue writing. What is dialogue? The first point you have to focus that you have to know that what is dialogue. Uh, at first, you have to know the definition of dialogue. So, let's uh, learn the definition of dialogue. That is, dialogue writing is a communication tool. This is a communication tool. Dear students, just keep it uh, in your mind that this is a communication tool. When you want to communicate with another person, then you have to say something. And when you want to say something, that words, that speeches are called dialogue. Okay, dear students, dialogue is a communication tool that allows that allows people to understand other viewpoints without putting themselves against different perspectives. So, you should know the definition. When you want to write a dialogue, then you should know what is called dialogue. So, this is a communication tool. Come to the next point, that is some attitudes should follow. Some attitudes you should follow when you want to write any dialogue. You should follow some attitudes. That means at first you have to uh, uh, you have uh, you have to follow the rules of greetings. This is an important uh, attitude when you want to express your expression to your friends or to anyone. Then you have to follow some attitude. Okay, those are request you want to request you you uh, when you want to make any dialogue if you uh, find any necessity to write any request then you can use the languages of uh, requesting you can use those languages those words uh, which are mentioned that uh, uh, which expresses the request and then attitude uh, then another point that is gratitude when you, uh, anyone if you want to express your attitude then you should uh, say some words regarding attitude then apology if you find any necessity of uh, uh, apology then you can use those words which are used uh, to express your apology and necessity when you want to express some necessity then you should use this type of words regarding necessity then preference proposal surprise sometimes you want to express your uh, surpriseness that uh, uh, you also can use some uh, exclamatory sentences for using for expressing your surpriseness and proposal if you want to uh, propose any uh, propose uh, anyone uh, for any topic or any idea then you have to use please or uh, the words which are used to uh, express proposal then opinion draw attention 
when you want to uh, draw your attention then you should use some expression you should use some words to uh, make uh, that uh, sentence at, at uh, that uh, that person uh, uh, to draw attention of that person then emphasis agreeing disagreeing these are called some attitude you should follow when you want to write a dialogue okay so dear student you also should know some important rules for writing a dialogue uh, that you uh, if you follow those rules then you will get good marks in dialogue writing minimum seven or eight marks in your board uh, exam so my dear students here first point what to do first point greeting hi hello how are you good morning greetings you should follow according to the rules of religion or uh, any community you can use greetings uh, sometimes you can use when you want to communicate with any uh, person then you can uh, ask uh, uh muslims you can ask assalamu uh, alaikum or hindu according to the rules of their uh, uh, their religion they can also uh, use some greetings and uh, sometimes we also can use like a uh, good morning good evening uh, like this type of words hi hello this type of words you can use to make a greeting okay with any person that means the person you want to communicate by using your dialogue Okay, dear students, second point, use colloquial form of language. You can use some colloquial form of language, but it's not uh, needed to follow strictly the um, uh, official language. You can use some colloquial language, but you should avoid some uh, languages which are used in uh, your day-to-day -day life like this. Yeah, hmm, this type of words you should use, you should avoid to write a dialogue. Okay, dear students, then use con uh, contracted forms of auxiliary verb contracted form means you should use its rather than it is you should follow you should write uh, he is he uh, uh, against he is okay this type of words you should use uh, that means use uh, contracted forms of auxiliary verb then next point use tag question question tag that means when you want to ask something when you want to establish your opinion own opinion to other then you can use some uh, question tag isn't it is it like this type of question tag you can use in writing a dialogue and then you can use simple sentences you should avoid complex or compound sentence you can use your simple sentences try to keep it short not long you should avoid long dialogues okay you should use simple sentences and then start a new paragraph each time a new person speak start a new paragraph each time each time a new person speak start a new paragraph when uh, suppose rohim wants to say something that means uh, rohim's dialogue then start a new para, para. if you want to uh, use kodim's dialogue then you should start a new para another para okay so start a new paragraph each time a new person speaks next point make sure readers to know who is talking if you are writing dialogue not mentioning name not mentioning person then readers uh, will be confused by seeing this who is the speaker who is the listener so you should make it clear that whose dialogue is this so make sure readers to know who is talking then give a balanced mix of action and talking you should use you should follow the flow of action okay you cannot move uh, from one action to another action if you want to write about tree plantation then you should follow uh, you should write some dialogues regarding tree plantation but you cannot use here use here the dialogue uh, regarding uh, female education these are not allowed so you should uh, make a balanced 
balanced mixed that uh, balance mixed of action and talking then maintain context if you want to write any topic if you want to discuss you if you want to uh, communicate one subject then you should follow that rules strictly that you should write that topic clearly you cannot you cannot use more than uh, uh, you cannot use so many topics in any dialogue okay you should use particular sentences regarding the topic of the dialogue then make it realistic you should not use uh, some strange or uh, uh, some uh, irre irrelevant thing uh, about any idea when you want to write anything about any topic any dialogue then you should uh, make it realistic of course you cannot use anything which are not related then not too much action not too much dialogue but 10 pairs is a must this is very important points for dialogue writing you should follow the st strictly that you should write at least 10 pairs at least 10 pairs you cannot uh, write uh, you cannot complete your dialogue by writing five pairs you cannot complete it by writing seven pairs you should at least write 10 pairs at least it is the minimum requirement of writing dialogue you can use more than that more than 10 pairs, uh, pairs but you at least you have to write at least 10 pairs so uh, then keep your dialogue brief and impactful when you want to write dialogue about any points or any idea then you should keep that dialogue brief and impactful of course it should be brief and it should be written in brief and uh, it should uh, you should write it in brief and of course it impactfully then try and resolve the discussion by the end of the page and when you want to complete the dialogue when you want to um, finish the dialogue then you should follow you should uh, write something regarding end okay you also here you can use bye uh, okay see you uh, call you later or, or uh, uh, see you this type of words you can use here so here i have given a, a simple question okay uh, uh, dear student here i have written a question write a dialogue between you and your friend about your aim in life so you should write a dialogue about aim in life your aim in life this is the important this is the topic of your dialogue you have to write the dialogue regarding aim in life you have to highlight that so you uh, the question paper pattern you uh, should know the question pattern i uh, uh, didn't write here but uh, i just uh, uh, tell you that okay at first you should know the question pattern you will get three types of question in uh, di about dialogue writing first of all you will be given two person mentioned that suppose you are rohim and your friend uh, skorim write a dialogue between two friends here name will be mentioned in your question paper this is one uh, pattern uh, and uh, you also will be asked that write a dialogue between you and your friend then you have to use myself and a name of your friend and if you you uh, will be asked that uh, write a dialogue between two friends these are the three question pattern of dialogue writing when you will be asked uh, to write a dialogue between two friends then you will mention two names when you will find the name in your question paper then you will use those names particular those names you cannot write another name and if you are asked that uh, to write a dialogue between you and your friend then you have to use myself and your friend's name okay be careful and uh, for writing a dialogue a heading is must you have to start by writing a heading that means write a dialogue between you and your friend about your aim in life this is the question and you have to use a heading that is a dialogue between me myself and my friend Rima. you have to mention the name and you have uh, to identify that you you is myself so Rima is your friend about aim in life is given below this is also this is the heading of 
writing dialogue so you should mention this uh, heading when you want to write a dialogue and uh, like this at first the first point is greeting you have to uh, use your gre uh, greeting when you want to make a dialogue when you when you want to start a dialogue then you have to use greeting hi rima how are you this is the greeting hi rima hello uh, how are you good morning uh, assalamu alaikum you also can use this type of words and this is called greeting and hi rima how are you this is the first dialogue you have started and rima reply you uh, rima will reply anything if when you when you find any question in your dialogue then you have to reply the answer of that question okay so i am fine what about you you also should ask it it is also called greeting here i have written the short form of i apostrophe m i am the short form of i am i have written i am so here i have written that constructed uh, contracted form of auxiliary verb so i have used here i can use here i am fine but for writing a dialogue you should use here i apostrophe am the short form of auxiliary verb then the next dialogue i am fine too what do you think about future you should go through the action okay you should uh, immediately transfer to the action here uh you ask that what about your future plan what about your future what do you think about future then the reply i will here i double i apostrophe double l the short form of i will i have used a short form i will try to be a doctor and you then myself i will try to be a doctor uh, i i will try to be a, a teacher why do you want to be a doctor then rima replied uh, it's a noble profession then myself yes it is here you should make a flow of your action you cannot skip anything you should make a flow of your action okay so yes it is rima i have a desire to build a hospital at my village your dialogue is that's good rima why do you want to be a teacher here uh, you show when you want to make uh, when you want to express your future plan at first the friend's future plan you should ask that what is your future plan then he will reply that this is my future plan here he replied or she replied that he she want to be a doctor this is the reply she wants to be a doctor this is her reply your friends reply and you then she will ask you what about your future what is the plan of your future then you should reply that you want to be a teacher this is your answer then you should uh, use the purpose why you want to uh, be a doctor or why uh, do you uh, want to be a teacher here you will get the purpose that means the climax of the action okay so here uh, the climax is i have to i have a desire to build a hospital at my village why she wanted to be a doctor this is the reason i have a desire to build a hospital at my village okay this is the explanation what is the purpose of um, uh, uh, choosing this type of aim and then you will be asked that why you why do you want to be a teacher she, uh, then uh, she asked here why do you want to be a teacher this is hard question then you have to reply according the action according the uh, sequence of action so you will reply that i will teach my students to serve my country why this is the purpose why you want to be a doctor why do you want to be a doctor here the purpose of this aim here you should write some uh, some lines regarding the aims or uh, regarding the purpose of the aim i will teach my students to serve my country then i will also teach the illiterate i will also the illiterate people you also can use here write here i will also teach the illiterate people in my uh, uh, in my village 
Okay, you also can write this type of sentences. But uh, you should keep it in your mind that it should not uh, be so long. Long dialogue should be avoided. Okay, always try to write simple sentences, short sentences, short expressions. And then here Rima said that that's great. That's great. Appreciation. That That's great. These are called attitude. Appreciation. That's great. I will serve the poor villagers. He also, she also replied that uh, what the purpose of his or uh, her choosing this type of aim. Here she wrote, uh, wrote that I will serve the poor villagers. Then myself wise decision. This is also appreciation. Appreciation. Okay. Uh, uh, you appreciate your friend for taking this type of decision. So, wise decision. Here, thank you. Thank you. You should um, uh, gratitude. You should pay the gratitude. You should show the gratitude. That is, thank you. Myself, we need to be more uh, mentally satisfied. Here, uh, for uh, after the part purpose, you should use the uh, main points, ending points. So, we need to be um, uh, mentally satisfied. Rima said, that's fine. I pray for your success. This is wish. This is wish. You should wish your friend for her future, her or his future. This is also attitude. This is also called attitude okay when you want to write any dialogue these attitudes are so much important for writing dialogue okay so if you want to make it more acceptable then you should use these type of attitudes okay then i also hope that you will reach your goal this is also your wish to your friend okay dear student you also write here uh, then you should come the ending point then uh, the, then by take care and uh, myself best of luck my dear friends you can use this type of words okay uh, when you want to write any dialogue you should be more careful about using some languages okay some students write uh, yeah, hmm, this type of words you should avoid. But you can write some colloquial language not by avoiding these words. Okay. Uh, and uh, you should use the contracted form of verb. So, uh, if you want to uh, make...